everybody to this anime game otaku 95 last episode after i got the chipboard i managed to get rid of the metalheads at the forest and i did a few more missions that involved the chipboard and and then right now i think i'm about to go do a series of missions that involves looking for the autoflex what's gonna happen next let's go play Birdbrain and I were just talking about you, Jack. Onan is very proud of what you did. What I did? What you did, what you do, it's all the same. Will you stop with the deja <laughs> voodoo stuff? It's creepy! Onan says you must find the tomb of Mar. Even now, better yeah, than but is it? the tomb. But only <laughs> the one true heir of Mar can open the tomb seal. We believe the kid is the key. The prophecies say that the true heir of Mar must face the ancient oracle. He alone must circumvent the cunning test of Manu. He alone must wield the precursor stone, thereby unleashing the... Jeez, Louise, fossil lady! Stop with this snooty mythic talk already, huh? You know that it hurts my lips. Why is Mar's tomb so important? The fabled precursor stone is rumored to sleep within the tomb, stupid. <laughs> I added the stupid part. The precursor stone contains vast eco energies. It can be used for great good or great evil. <laughs> I just love seeing that last part. The Baron wants the precursor stone for himself to rule the world, but he is playing with forces he does not understand. Okay, Pecker. So, how do I get this precursor stone? First, you must go to the dig and find the lurker totem. Onan and I have learned that a piece to the Seal of Mar is contained within its ancient carvings. You must find all three pieces of the seal to open Mar's gate into the canyon. Okay, I'm guessing I'm going back to the to the area where I was cutting the wolves with a jet boy, so let's go. Okay, I have to be careful. I think the Crimson Guards already left, but I still need to be careful because what if there are metalheads here? <gasps> I knew it! Okay, let me just have a look around here. Okay. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna need to press all those buttons before I could move on. Where are the other four?
Whoa! That was too close. Let me see, is there something over there? Or? No, that's the entrance where I got in. Let me just go back. Okay, I think the last one is over there, but it's too high for me to reach. Let me find an other way to go. Oh man, there's too many of them. Hey! Ooh, an all egg. Oh wait, there's the egg right there. Uh, maybe I could reach you from there. Okay, looks like I'm back where I need to go. Okay, careful. Careful. Now! Okay, I had to wait for a little bit for it to come back. I don't want to take a risk.
Oh no, ah, come on! go okay let me just take my time here okay go go Okay, got the force artifact. I'm on it. Wait a minute. I think this time you should go get the thing. Looks dodgy up there. Don't hurt yourself, Jack. Ooh. Ah, he's fine. Okay, now after you get the force artifact, sis. Walk up and then keep walking up here. And there should be a portal right here. You don't have to worry about walking all the way back to the entrance, so let's just use a portal instead. Okay, what new mission I need to do? So there I was, toe to toe with five of the nastiest metalheads you ever saw. Slime oozing from monstrous jaws. Teeth sharper than daggers. Slowly, all ten of them surround me. But do I surrender? No! I summon my highly trained killer instincts and pounce! Yeah! <laughs> and when the dust cleared, there were 20 less metalheads in the world. Oh, Daxter, you're amazing. Yeah, I know. Scratch me there. Quite a story there, golden boy. I guess you're just the animal I need for another dangerous gig. Combat metalheads have now been spotted right here in Haven Forest. These new bad boys have special camouflage, so they're tough to spot. But I'm sure with your killer instincts, you'll manage. Go to the forest and take them all out. Okay, Doughty. I think that's a lot of them, but... I have to be careful because... They're probably gonna be invisible, and I don't know where they are unless I could... See those shiny heads. Ooh! Found one. Whoa! Who are you? There's one more over there. Okay, that's ten down, twenty more to go. Uh 
Okay, I just need 13 more to go, and yeah, I had to be careful because I'm running low on health. Okay, I'm gonna need four more, but where are they? Uh-oh. I think I see them. Ah! Okay, where's the last one gonna be at? Let me just have a look over there. Come out, come out! There you are. Okay, now let's get out of here. Okay, I'm back here. What am I gonna do next? We destroyed Chris Cargo. Great, I'll send you a medal. Now, if you don't mind, I'm on a deadline, so scram. Are you always this difficult? Let me handle this, Jack. Listen, lady, we beat your stupid course, and we can outrace anybody in this city. Wait, that voice. <gasps> Is that cure? Two things you need to know. One. We don't want to join your stinking race team. And two, you just lost a date with Orange Lightning. Let's go, Jack. Daxter, it is you! Mira! Oh, I never thought I'd be so glad to see your furry mug. Nah. And Jack, you look different. It's been a tough ride. The Baron pumped our boy here full of dark eco, and it did something to him. Now he's got super moves or something. And a few anger issues as well. I've been looking for you guys forever. And planning a way to get us back home. Somehow that rift took us far into the future. I've calculated the time displacement, and we I found think your I've father. Got well, sort of. Working with the underground, fighting the Baron. But he's uh, what? He looks different. Need to go see him, and I need to get to the Baron. You could try to win the Class One Racing Championship. The winner of that big race always gets to meet the Baron in the palace. But you have to qualify by winning the lower class races. There's a class three race starting soon. 
You can drive for my team. But Jack, we should think about getting out of here. I don't like this place. And some of the people are creepy. Jack, my boy. Ah, creepy person. I you found, eh? A special client has requested it. Sorry about that, crew. <laughs> I must have forgotten. Attention all citizens. The class three race is about to begin. Okay, the reason why Kira didn't recognize Jack the first place is because she never heard Jack talk until right now, so... Okay, let's go get ready for the race. Okay, let me tell you some few rules about the racing in this game. Whatever you do, do not die for any reason because if you do then... You automatically lose the waves, and if you do not get to first place, then you're not going to be able to get to the story mode, so be very careful when you're driving this part, and if you notice the shortcut, it's very, very risky for you to take a shortcut, so be very careful when you do, because there's, there's a high chance of you missing a shortcut, and then you explode, and you have to restart the whole race again, so... Just be very careful, okay? Okay, let's go ace. Come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on. And I won. When is this city going to provide some challenge, huh? Hey, I watched your race today. You were pretty amazing out there. Oh, thanks. Uh, Kira, uh, this is Ashlyn. She's just... Everyone knows who she is. And Kira's... A, a friend. A very good friend. Oh, she's getting jealous. Out with that tanker, Jack. You saved a lot of lives. I'm not my father, you know. Ever since I was a little girl, I've looked down at the city streets from that ridiculous palace. 
and imagined a better place. By the way, they're hunting for you. I'd watch out for Errol. I can't protect you from him. Woo! She's a Betty! And she likes you, Jack! Not that I can account for her tastes. I bet you'd love to pin some medals on her chest, huh? <laughs> what? What'd I say? What did you say, Jack? The Baron's coming down pretty hard. Whatever you've been doing, you've really upset him. I'm just getting started. He's brought in new Crimson Guard Hellcat cruisers, making the streets dangerous for the underground. We've already lost five men this week. Your men should be able to take care of themselves. But I wouldn't mind taking out a few cruisers, if that's what you're getting at. Never part of a bigger cause, eh, Jack? Fine. I'll take your help any way I can get it. Bring down all five Hellcat cruisers. That should send the Baron a message. Okay, hopefully I have enough bullets for this part. Oh yeah, and whatever you do, do not die, because if you die, then the number will go back to five, and you have to restart the whole mission again. Okay, let's go do it. I think I need to go look for those new uh, country guard vehicles and oh yeah and I have to be careful because once I start shooting at them I'm gonna get chased at, I'm gonna get chased by those crimson guards so yeah I have to be very careful okay time to move Okay, close is clear. This should make it easy for me to go find the other vehicles. Okay, I should go this way because I thought it was gonna exit out, but... Oh, so close. Okay. Ah, come on. I need two more. And I see one nearby. Uh oh. Okay, I need one more, and one is near me right now. Okay. Good work. I couldn't have done it better myself. 
Now, time to escape. Okay, those are no artifacts, but let me warn you before I go grab it. Um, this level is one of the hardest level in Jack 2. I mean, I mean, like, as soon as you get it, you're gonna get ambush, and you, you're gonna need to get IO, and you have to make sure you don't die, or else you have to restart at that exact spot after the cutscene ends. Look, I'll show you. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. 
Yes, I made it. Before I get killed. Okay, after I manage to get away from the Crimson Guard safe and sound, let's go back to the old hunt and go see the old lady. Expecting that little boy to save us is folly. At his age, he's no match for the metalhead leader. Oh, Jack, we were just talking about Samos's plan. Onan says your voice sounds very familiar. I'll bet you two golden oldies go way, way back, huh? Ne. Onan needs you to prove yourself, Jack. You've shown your brass and your brawn. Now, you must show your brains as well. Frankly, I think she's pushing it. But I'm not the boss. Beat this test, and the third piece to the seal will be revealed. Oh, Ready? do I have to press buttons? Oh. Yep. I do. So, I just need to be careful not to... Miss anything or don't press any wrong buttons. Wow, not me. Okay, I need a few more. Amazing. Oh, that was so close. I am without words, and that is rare. Behold, the seal of Mar is now complete. Onan says the three artifacts you retrieved from the mountain temple are relics from an ancient light tower. Old songs tell how this light tower once shined down on the actual site of Mars' tomb. I sing one of these songs for you. From the mists of time, Mars' light would shine. Awkward. Oh, there, Iron <laughs> Just tell us what we need to do. Cretans with no taste, huh? You must take the three artifacts to Mars' gate. Only then will the light tower rise and reveal the tomb. Wait, why is he leaving? The area is secure. Okay, let's go back to that temple mountain. Okay, we're back at the temple mountain, but this time we are gonna go this way. Open sesame! Careful, careful. There you go. Okay, let's look this way first. Ah, there it is. All right, let's do this.
and that light destroys the statue. Ooh. Hey, look, and I look at that hidden door. Thanks to you, we did all the work. Well, there's a temple that I need to go, but I'm gonna go take a break and end this episode. So, until next time, this is Anime Game Otaku 95. Bye.